Hello YouTube and welcome to our 78th 3D tutorial. I really need to keep track of that, but we just keep pouring them out so we get lost easy. But right, the first thing we're going to do is do the variables. So we really, really need to do the variables because else we're going to fail eventually. But so let's scroll down and hide some of these things what we don't need because we don't need quite a lot of them at the moment. Because we do need to find out. Um, what is it? We we need to make it store the variables, or we can't load it into the actual game. That's the reason we're doing it. So what we can do is hide most of these, just so we've got quick scrolling up and down. We do need the ongoing one though, so leave that. So right here, where it says next, yeah, it needs to store everything. So like we do always into our player attributes, we need to store all these here. So we're going to copy these and paste it into the bottom of this and just move them across a bit. So we don't need the static var on any of them so we can just remove that. However we will need a player attributes at the beginning of them all. So player skin equals player skin equals. This will take time but it does need to be done. Because the way we're going to load it into the game is by actually saying if this equals this, spawn this, and then we're going to try and store it. Because there is actually no way to store into a prefab. You can take out of a prefab, but you can't store into it from the game, which is kind of bad. But yeah. So, what we need to do here is type player at reviews dot player head. There, 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 and there. So it'll set all them to zero, which are going there. However, we don't need to set it to zero, we need to set it to the occurring one. So head armor, which is for us um, head armor, chosen head. Equals chosen head. I'm guessing this will be chosen body. I'm guessing this will be chosen back. Let's go and have a look. Chosen back for back armor, correct? And body. We don't have body armor. We have body skin. Don't we? Yeah, so we don't need body armor, so we can get rid of that one from both. Body armor and back armor. There we go. So, here are the skins which we can do. So, the back skin equals chosen back skin, cape skin, which is that one. Oh, and that's that one there. So, body skin should be fairly simple chosen body skin, chosen face. And here, face skin, perfect. And li, and then right eye, and then we should be done. See, it weren't that complex, all we had to do is get our heads around it. So, now when we click next, it'll store all them which we actually need it to do, which is more helpful than we know. So, realign these to above so we miss out on the errors. There. So, main object, the armor select equals false. So we click next, it'll disable this, which is what we want. Start select, let's make, begin making that script. So, where is it? Character customization. Uh, which one to. I'm guessing the size armor select will be the best option because then it's got both on side. So we rename it, start select, stick this on our main camera. We won't need to edit any of these, so don't worry about that because we'll get rid of that. And stat select equals true, so we enable that. The main camera dot position equals 40, so what is it from the size select? So we're looking at what um, position the camera is. So position equals 10, and the character equals 10. So in the armor select, 40 and 80, so it's already set. So if we try it again, but edit our stats, so it's not as bad, it should work fine. So we can get rid of all these. For now, we'll just get rid of that because we'll do that much simpler. Um, ca main camera equals 40, 40, and Z, what's the Y axis? 10 and minus 14. We don't edit the Y or Z. Um, body that render that materials we don't need that either and we can pretty much nearly get rid of all of this 
We'll collect, keep two of these though, just so we've got the right um, places. And we'll keep, keep next and head. So we'll keep head because then we know where the buttons are, and we'll keep next simply because we can. So we can get rid of all these in here, but we'll get, keep one just so we know that we put it in here. We don't move the character position no more because that's it after it is done. And we don't need to enable that. But we do need to disable this script. Start, select, end, and transfer. So when it gets to there, we will transfer the details into our level and load our character. I know transfer is probably spot wrong. Please don't flame me. So, where are we? Head. Select your head armor. So we'll call this stat name. Select your character's name. Um, what we got so next blah, blah blah so we don't need this at the moment so we can go into that and we don't need this previous select your stats that's it that should work so let's get a test oh dear let's disable it first that would be a good idea boom boom next and Next, all oh, working fine as usual. Let's turn the cape off. There we go. We'll need to make that disappear if the cape's off, but yeah, we can do that. Um, select your character's name, that needs to be brung across a bit, and our character's still not here, which is not good. So, we'll try something else on the character. We'll move it up, say 60, see if it moves it, and back on here 60 for the X and 60 for the Y. <coughs> Now we need to find we're doing the wrong one here. Ten ten. So that shouldn't be forty there. So this should be sixty. Let's try that. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna move it across, weren't we? Yeah. So select your count select your name, that'll do. Because then it's shorter and it's better. Next, next, next. Oh dear. Six is a bit much, I think. So let's try something else. So from 60 we'll try 50, maybe. I don't know why it's not bringing the spotlight with it. It should, but we'll try again. Next, next, next. And, well, we can't see that yet. So he's over here. and see what happens to him. Where's our character? He's too far out, so it needs to be around there. So it's a matter of positioning the camera then. So if our last position is 10, and then, f not, not 10, f 10, and then our next position is 40, 40 should be spot on. So let's try it again. So, 40. I don't know why this is messing up. And here, 40. Test 2. I'll keep it like this so we can go and have a look. Next, next, next. Oh, look at that, it magically works. Well, look at that. But yeah, so we won't need a next door thingy button for our name, but we will need it for everything else because for our name, we'll do a text box. Unless you want to do some suggested names, I don't know. Posting. Post comment below if you want suggested or comment below if you just want a text box. Either way, the text box will be done. But yeah, so that's basically it for this tutorial. We've started our other script. We've done the variables, and we've made him go next. So we've all good. Thanks for watching. Also, big news. Um, I have actually no contact with YouTube, my subscribers. So if you're a big follower of the Unity tutorials and wanna have direct contact with me there's my facebook group in the below i will always be checking it for comments and stuff because youtube glitches you will know that so comment below i'll be sending updates saying when new videos are coming what will be coming and stuff like that so see you next time